Your zinger. And if you're wondering, hey, you know what's been going on? Why has it been such a hard couple of days? Oh my god. It's been hard. It's been difficult. A lot of stuff has, has happened. Um loads of stuff hasn't happened that's kind of caused me to go a bit into a spiral and just generally in life, innit? I think um yeah, we'll just, let's just get straight into it. Let's not waste any time with the mad intro. You know what to do. If you're watching via YouTube, smash that like button, hit subscribe, leave a comment. If you're listening via podcast app, five star review, share with your friends, all that stuff. Yeah, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it and then we can move on to the topics. So, it's been a hard couple of weeks, um, mostly down to the fact that I haven't necessarily come to grips with just how, um, with just how difficult it is to try and accomplish something. Like, to kind of go for your dreams right because i think if i'm really honest with myself the only times i've this has been the only kind of period in my life where i've actually legitimately tried and put expectation on stuff that i'm doing before i was just doing stuff because it was fun wasn't really tying any expectation towards it wasn't didn't really have a goal in mind wasn't really looking at my you know at my right eye hoping it can kind of pop off i was just kind of doing it just kind of you know going by it day by day but the last two years i've been that where I've kind of really focused in and had some intention behind my actions. I've been like, okay, cool. When I do this, I'm hoping to get this and that. If I don't get it, okay, cool. But I'm hoping for this kind of result. So sometimes when it doesn't happen, it can bum you out a bit, isn't it? So um, it's kind of, oddly enough, right, this whole period of time, it's also made me understand why some people are very much against the whole, like, self-help guru thing, right? The whole Gary Vaynerchuk thing, maybe even the Tim Ferriss stuff on one end of the spectrum. Um, but yeah, let's say those two guys are probably the two people that get a lot of stick online from some segments of the internet, right? Maybe not Tyler Lopez because he's like, you know, you know why he gets stick, right? Because he does loads of clickbait videos. But really at the core of his videos, there is a lot of value to be gained from it. Not the paywall stuff, you know, all that stuff is a bit cringy. But in terms of like, you know, creating a business that you don't need to like, um, you don't need to pour your heart over day in, day out to allow you to free up time to do other things. There's some good principles in there, right? Reading books. Um, when you get away from all the, you know, um, hiring scantily clad girls to do these videos or the hiring of uh, exotic cars to pull people in, there's a message there in time and stuff. There is a message there. It's hard to dig through it, all the bullshit, but there is something there. Guy Vaynerchuk and Tim Ferriss probably get some justifiable kind of hate, right, in terms of Gary V. It's all rah, rah, rah talk, even though the last few years he's really made it an effort to kind of be a little bit more practical and give his natural steps, right? The whole like going to the flea market, the whole baseball card thing, reselling of trainers, um, TikTok, social media, how to promote yourself on Instagram, the amount of content you to produce in order to blow. Like he's really been on it in that regard. Um, and Tim Ferriss, I'll say, has probably moved away from the whole investment thing and it probably moved really kind of d- double, double, d- double down into the whole like self actualization right improving your life kind of biohacking but now but i remember in the past part of the reason people didn't like him was because they felt as if like all he did was speak to really have sex with people he didn't actually do anything himself that was crazy right maybe that's the thing it's apart from maybe all the books that he put together were collections of other people's wisdom as opposed to anything that he had specifically done again i don't really agree with any argument but i understand it now having gone through what i've gone through the last couple of days i understand that um it's the hard part about people listening to self-help gurus is that when they speak about the struggle they speak about how to make it they always kind of um downplay this period i'm kind of going for at the moment the period where you're doing a lot you're putting a lot of content out you're making your moves you're hustling right i'm playing all these random places i'm putting myself out there i'm being part of the scene i'm i'm I'm, I'm taking part in culture I'm visiting some of the best places to go to to kind of um uh, to kind of experience this these things. Um, I'm recording a podcast. I'm putting it out. I'm writing blogs. I'm doing loads of stuff. Right, you're making content. You're putting stuff out into the into the universe, and there is an expectation in some way, shape, or form that it should have popped. Off, it should have popped off for you. It should have. You should have had your moment. Right, it hasn't happened just yet. Um, but then you read other stories of other people who are kind of in the same sort of like time frame as you because I think sometimes maybe it's not the best thing to look at it in terms of like a one for one or because he's doing she's doing this thing on video i'm doing a video then it works because you know sometimes people can just work for different things and they happen to blow at the right time you know it's different things that work into it but if you're going to be fair to yourself you might say okay let's look at this person who is the same sort of time frame as me and they're doing things that are completely outside of anything that i could have even, even dreamed to do right now right you're like bloody hell in it and you start get to a bit, bit bit bitter a little bit envious a little bit hatey and also there's a side of it where you just don't want to hear that rah-rah talk because you know what to do, right? You know it requires you to just wake up every day and just create stuff, make content, put stuff out there. 
and hopefully over time something will blow up for you but it's also there's a little bit of an understanding especially if you're a sensible person that sometimes it might be advantageous to kind of like listen to the universe right if one thing isn't going for you one time if it just doesn't work maybe it's the universe telling you that even though you've tried it was a good effort and you've had a lot of fun you've made some new friends I don't think any journey is wasted. I don't think going for your dreams, even if you don't make it, is a wasted journey. I still think there is something to be gained for uh, going for something, right? Starting a business, um, trying to become a singer, um, whatever, maybe writing a book, right? That process, or even making t-shirts, right? I've made t-shirts before, 30, and I didn't sell one, and then they all turned into fucking pajama wear, right? But there's something quite interesting about that, the fact that I was able to kind of like contact the screen printers, understand how to uh, submit the proper artwork, get stuff back, do quality assurance, packaging, um, the amount of tax you pay, blah, 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 marking it up to, you know, to sell it on the internet, postage and packaging, dealing with customer service. All these things are interesting because, you know, if someone decides to kind of pick your brain one day in a conversation about how to make a t-shirt you suddenly got this blow off of information if you're in a bar one day and you just want some funny conversations to kind of break the ice you can tell your friends how you wasted five thousand pound printing you know a, a range of jumpers that you thought were going to be the next big thing and no one actually bought them so there's something fun from that and there's something educational from it. and again if we're only if we're only going to be on this earth one time if you believe the fact that we're going to be in this form that we're in now at the moment just this one time why not go for something why not have an experience why not write off some money just kind of having a fun time doing something that you like right people waste enough money as it is going to the bars hanging out with friends eating places why not just do something that's an experience you can actually look back on and think wow man i can't believe i did that so it's all well and good but the thing people struggle with the most is that these periods but of the sucky moments you're not too sure whether or not it's a sign for the universe to tell you hey you've done it now stop and go and do the other thing you're doing concentrate on your on your career because that's where you're gonna actually blow up or is it just one of those situations that you go through that's just gonna be it's just a shitty situation you just have to kind of dig in and kind of hope that you kind of get over it what is it that's the issue right you don't know what what it is and you don't know if it's like the universe slapping you in the face and telling you wake up stop trying to go for this thing it's not for you or if it's just like a necessary uh part of course is something that you have to go through you just have to go down this path it's going to be bleak it's going to be dark because you know especially the last two days it's been very bleak very dark and just in terms of just self confidence again I, I wasn't i didn't think i was that person man i thought my self-confidence my um sense of self was quite rock solid but these things can really rock you right they can really just send you for a loop and you're like bloody hell man um but yeah it's been tough it's been tough man been tough so I've kind of had to kind of get myself back onto an even keel, uh, devise a plan, um, get myself back onto like training again, going for a run, meditating in the morning, um, staying off the alcohol and the drugs and stuff, and just really getting clear. Because I guess sometimes when you're going through these rough periods, you can sometimes use alcohol and drugs to kind of allow you to not remember and to kind of just fast through through life. I think that's what I used to do a lot when I was at home. I was going through some problems with my parents and stuff. Like I used to use going out and getting wasted just as a way to kind of not be present at home so i just fast forward because i knew in the morning after going out all night i was going to get flipping bollocks, bollocks uh, a bollock in from my parents right i knew i was going to be called every name under the sun i was going to be you know just just you know the the kind of the strife that you go through growing up in like a very conservative family household again okay, it's not their fault in it they didn't know what to they didn't know what they were doing they didn't know they didn't know what they got themselves into moving to a new continent with completely different like lifestyle requirements for young people which is completely at odds with how they grew up in in africa and stuff it's just difficult isn't it so having to grow up with that i, I don't you know i don't really have any um thing bad to say about that i just think it's just one of those particular situations i went through so you can sometimes use those drugs and alcohol as a way to kind of just like fast through you just want to speed through life you just don't want to remember you want it to be monday again you want it to be wednesday again you want it to be friday again and bam it's weekend you can just forget about it so I think that's what I've been kind of doing. And, you know, sometimes the more conscious you are of the days that you're present in, it can kind of make you think, bloody hell, man, I'm so far away from where I want to get to, which is, again, stupid way of thinking about it. But um, that's where I was in it. So at the moment, I'm trying to get back to where I was previously. And again, I think the best way to do that is starting with the fasting, starting with the um, abstaining from the drugs and alcohol for now, uh, making sure I'm training again, making sure I'm running, um, making sure I'm reading loads of books i'm just kind of maybe staying away from social because again I, I dip back into you know looking on social media too much and sometimes you can maybe get a little bit you would not i wouldn't say fomo but is it career mo como como uh fit no fear of missing out on a career day i don't know if, I'm not, whatever that abbreviation there's something about it right 
lifestyle FOMO, right? Where you're like, bloody hell, man. Especially because, you know, especially because sometimes you look at people and you're like, like, legitimately, you think, you know what? I'm better than you. I really am. Like, no hate involved. No kind of like, you know, um, being, you know, what's that word called? I'd be, I don't know. None of that kind of meanness about it. Just just from just look, being a practical human being, looking at it stone cold, being, oh, I'm better than you at this thing. I am. So why are you more successful than I am at this very present moment? And again, it's a question that you don't really need to think about because everyone's journey is completely different. It doesn't because someone's doing that doesn't mean you can't do this, right? It makes absolutely no sense. It's, it's I'd imagine that kind of thinking is similar to saying that you know that in school you had those people that were like high school sweethearts, right? They were together since they were like sixteen and they got married now and they still have a big family now, right? They're in like their early thirties. Because that happened to your friend, that doesn't mean you're never going to get married or never going to have a family, right? It has no, no correlation to you whatsoever. They're just going through what they're going through. There's nothing to do with you. So you can't necessarily look at somebody else, what they're doing, and think, oh, because you're doing that and I'm not doing the thing that I'll need to do. Somehow it kind of invalidates my experience. It makes me look rubbish. I look dead. I look like I don't know what I'm doing. No, that's not true. But you just can't help it. And it? it's just life. So I think that's probably why some people are so against social media because even with the best intentions, it can really, really mess with your brain, especially when you're, and again, no social media specifically, but your, your, your thoughts already are, you know, going where they're going. And then you're looking at this thing that's reinforcing those thoughts that you're thinking of going. But sometimes when you're not thinking that way, it doesn't matter. You can just look at someone and think, oh, wow, they're a fashion week again. Oh, wow, they're going to, you know, um, Art Basel. Oh, wow, they're DJing this great festival. Oh, wow, they're DJing this massive club. You're like, okay, of course, it's great. Oh, wow, they've, you know, got this podcast guest. You're like, you know, you don't really think much of it. But then once you're going through some mad things and you're thinking some mad thoughts, when you look at that, you can be like, bloody hell, man, my life ain't shit. And you start looking at something and really you're like, bloody hell. So I really get that. But again, um, I think the last few days have been a time to reflect, a time to recover, and a time just to kind of get back to where I need to get to, isn't it? So I guess for anyone else out there that may be going through the similar sort of thing, because I know it's probably a thing no one really wants to talk about too much, especially in a scene, because it just... Because I guess everyone goes through it. I must, they must do, especially when you're trying to do something, especially when you put money on it, especially when you put time into it. Because, you know, I don't know, there's not many people that wake up at five in the morning to record a podcast and release it or make a DJ mix straight after they get back home or spend the next three or four hours when they come back and leave. Because like, I hardly watch Netflix, isn't it? Like, literally, I'm hard, I hardly watch series because for the most part, every day or every moment in my life where I don't have time, where I'm outside of work, because, you know, work takes up eight hours of a day, I'm trying to pursue my dreams. I'm trying to go for stuff. So it's not like you meet a lot of people that are doing that. So when you're doing it yourself and you feel as if you're not getting anywhere, it can kind of be like, what the hell? But I'm sure there is a lot of people doing it, but they just don't speak about it because, you know, it's quite a, it's quite a painful thing to speak about that you're doing something a lot and it doesn't feel like you're getting better, right? I'd imagine it's like back in the day, apart from maybe a few people in my school, most of us started off rubbish playing football, right? There was obviously a few people here and there, like, you know, the good, obvious example was Mark Noble, went to the same school as me when I was in primary school, I mean, secondary school, sorry. And he, you know, successful footballer now at the moment. But for the most part, it's very, like, most footballers just get better over time, right? You play a sport long enough and you start to get better, right? It's like skateboarding, right? If you learn how to ollie, um, it's going to take you a while, but you'll learn. And then suddenly you, you go from not being able to put, put one foot on the board and push to suddenly be able to push to suddenly being able to... to do a standing ollie, stationary, then to do it moving, then to ollie up things, ollie down things. Like It's just a thing that you have to go through. But usually you get better at it. And you might reach a bit of a ceiling in your skills, right? You might just hit a wall and be like, that's it. But you see something happening. It's not. It's very rare you try something and you don't get just a bit better than where you were before at the start. So I guess the creative pursuit can be a really, um, it can be a big mindfuck because you start from, imagine you releasing songs on SoundCloud you put a song on SoundCloud and you get five plays. You get you you you, you somehow your brain tells you that five is no good, but a hundred is no good either. You suddenly have to for your, for your mind for your mind to be happy of your plays. You probably have to be in the thousands, right? And even then, it's not good because imagine you've got a thousand plays, but you've got nothing, no one booking you, no one covering you on blogs. You've got no no placements on plays. You just got a thousand plays on things. It can be hard to really kind of rationalize that in your brain. Like, why is it like? It doesn't make any sense and suddenly you start comparing contrasting and then you get into a deep, deep, deep rabbit hole. So I guess for anyone else out there going through the same thing, my advice would be to maybe put down your phone, concentrate on the work and get back to living a healthy lifestyle. I think for me, the moment that I've been going through my worst, I've not been living the most healthy lifestyle, right? I've not been sleeping well. I've not been maintaining my mental health. I've not been abstaining from looking at certain things i've been staying of maybe ingesting certain things it's just been all over the place and then trying to work which is not the best way to do it so you really have to kind of strip things back down to their real base level 
take away all distractions and really just do it. Because again, if you're in it for the thing that you're in it for, you're not in it for monetary value, uh, a celebrity gain, whatever it may be, you'll be okay going through this messed up situation. You should be okay, really. And if it, if you're if you're not, then maybe you have to recalibrate your goals. But in theory, if it's really something you're passionate about, you should be fine to go through this shit. It's not a big deal, and it? it is what it is, isn't it? It's just a, it's a bit of a blip. It's a bit of a shitty moment. But you will come. You will you will persevere over in the end. Fingers crossed, right? You just have to kind of go through it. Um. So yeah, anyone going through that at the moment? I don't know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um. Let me know how you go. How you got over a bit of a hump. Um, was it something that you kind of have to just live with? Uh, is it something, is again, when you keep getting hit in the face, <laughs> do you kind of take that as a sign that you should maybe, you know, duck or maybe block and go somewhere else? Or do you just keep fighting through? What is the solution there going forward? I'm not too sure on the option, but for now, I'm going to do what I do best and what really has worked for me, which has been to kind of, you know, eliminate some of the drugs, most of the drugs and alcohol, eliminate kind of, you know, really put myself in shitty situations, make you sleep more, work out some more. And then usually it kind of gets me back in the best place. And obviously some meditations will really kind of helps in that regard too. So that's what I'm going to plan to do going forward. Um, but yeah, it's been a tough one, man. It's been a tough one. I need to kind of just get that off my chest and share it. Because I think, um, yeah, hopefully it might help some people just to kind of put it out there. Because I think there is not a lot of conversation about that out there. I don't think there is. I guess we all know what to do in it when it comes to creative pursuits. And we know that you just got to put more stuff out there. You got to be diligent there. You got to be consistent with it you got to treat it like a job, you got to be professional, you got to just put no expectations into it and hopefully the money will come later. You know, all these things, we know these things. But in practice, it can be hard to really, really do it. And also, once you hit one stumbling block, that's when it really tells, it really shows you, really shows your mettle. Like, are you really about this, right? When you start hitting a bit of a few hurdles and it's not really going the way you want to go. But anyway, what do I know? What do I know? Leave me comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are on that and we'll talk from there.